Dear students, I welcome you on behalf of Thakur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College for the remote teaching learning process where our motto is let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Let us begin with part 2 of chapter number 2 that is sources of corporate finance wherein today we are going to understand meaning and features of equity shares. Let us begin with the second question that is what is an equity share and explain its features. Firstly, we need to understand the meaning of equity share. What do you mean by equity shares? Equity shares are those shares which are known as ordinary shares. The definition of equity shares is given in the Companies Act and it defines equity shares as those shares which are not preference shares which means that equity shares do not enjoy preferential rights like those of the preference shareholders. The preference shareholders two rights enjoy two rights that is they are first to receive payment of dividend before the dividend is paid to the equity shareholders in a similar way when it comes to winding up of the company at that time also they are the first one the preference shareholders are the first one to receive the amount at the time of winding up of the company. Equity shareholders are considered to be the major provider of funds in a joint stock company. That is why the equity share capital represents the fundamental or the basic source of financing business activities. Equity shareholders are called as the owners of the company because they own the company and they bear the ultimate risk associated to the ownership of the company. Further, equity shareholders are also called as the residual claimants of income and assets. Let us understand the meaning of residual claimants. Whenever the company earns income at that time, firstly, the income is distributed among other claimants, other investors, other creditors, other expenditures and if any income is left out, then only the equity shareholders have a claim on the same and that is why they are called as the residual claimants of income and assets. Equity share capital is also known as venture capital or risk capital because if the company is successful they enjoy great financial rewards but suppose if the company fails or incurs losses then they have to bear the ultimate risk because they are the real owners of the company and it is obvious that the owners have to bear any risk associated to its ownership. It is for this reason that equity share capital is considered to be a risk capital. Further, being the owners, they participate in the management of the company. But how do they enjoy the participation in management? They participate in management firstly by attending at the general meetings. Not only that, they even vote at general meetings. It is for all this reason that the equity shareholders are said to be the real owners of the company. So this nine points do clearly explain the meaning of equity shares. Let us now begin with the features of equity shares. The first feature of equity share is permanent capital. Equity share capital represents permanent capital in a joint stock company, which means that the funds which is raised by means of equity share capital remains in the company for a longer period of time till the winding up of the company. It is for this reason that equity share capital is also called as irredeemable share capital and the term irredeemable means one which is not returned or redeemed during the lifetime of the company. So accordingly equity share capital is not refundable however this amount is refundable or refundable only at the time of winding up or when the company takes the decision for buying back of its shares. It is for this reason that equity share capital is called as a long term and a permanent capital. Let us now move 
towards the second feature of equity shares that is fluctuating dividend. The word fluctuating means one which keeps on changing. The dividend which is given to the equity shareholders is fluctuating. That means it keeps on changing depending upon the profits of the company. Higher the profits of the company, higher will be the rate of dividend, could, dividend given to the shareholders. And suppose in case the profits are not sufficient or if the company incurs losses, then in that case, the board of directors may postpone the payment of dividend. So the dividend which is given to the equity shareholders is uncertain and irregular so the equity shareholders do not enjoy the benefit of a regular income because they are the real owners of the company let us now move towards the third feature which is rights being the shareholders being the owners equity shareholders enjoy certain rights relating to ownership let us understand what are they firstly they enjoy right to vote which means that they are invited to attend the general meetings wherein they exercise their right to vote through this right to vote they do appoint directors they can also bring about changes in the memorandum of association articles of association and so on the second right enjoyed by them is right to share in profit whatever is the profits of the company equity shareholders being the owners they enjoy a share in the profit and this profit is enjoyed by them in the form of dividend further they also have the right to inspect that is check the statutory books of the company which are kept at the registered office like the register of members, the register of debenture holders, register of depositors, etc. And lastly, they enjoy the right to transfer shares, which means that whenever they wish, they may transfer their shares to another party. However, this transfer of shares must take place as per the procedure which is laid down in Articles of Association. Let us now move towards the fourth feature, which is no preferential rights. Preferential rights are enjoyed only by the preference shareholders. These preferential rights are not enjoyed by the equity shareholders. Let us understand what they do not enjoy. Firstly, when it comes to payment of dividend, at that time, they are not the first one to receive the dividend. Rather, preference shareholders are given the first preference to receive the dividend. After the dividend is paid to the preference shareholders, then only the equity shareholders are liable to be paid dividend. Further, when it comes to repayment of capital at the time of winding up of the company, at that time also they do not enjoy preferential right. Firstly, the amount is repaid to the preference shareholders and if anything is left out, then only the equity shareholders are given their capital amount back. So this clearly indicates that they do not enjoy two basic preferential rights that is in respect of payment of dividend and in respect of repayment of capital at the time of winding up of a company. Let us now understand the fifth feature of equity shares, which is controlling power. Equity shareholders being the owners of the company, they enjoy controlling right. How do they exercise their controlling right? So, equity shareholders enjoy control over the company. They are called as the real masters of the company and they do exercise their controlship right through their exclusive voting rights, which means that they enjoy right to give their votes or cast their votes in proportion to their shareholdings. Further, they also appoint their representatives who are called as directors or board of directors and these directors look after the management of the company on behalf of the equity shareholders. In this way, through the exclusive voting rights and through the representatives, the equity shareholders enjoy controlling power over the management of the joint stock company. 
The sixth feature of equity shares is risk. As discussed earlier, equity shareholders are the real owners of the company and when it comes to ownership, definitely risk is attached to it. So, equity shareholders bear the maximum risk, which means that with the fall in the income, the rate of dividend comes down. This further results in fall in market value of equity shares which further results into capital loss so they are said to be the risk takers in a joint stock company and because of this they are also called as shock absorbers because they have to bear all the risk and losses which are attached to the or associated to the ownership of the company let us now move towards the seventh feature which is residual claimant the term residual claimant means last claim on the earnings of the company equity shareholders being the real owners of the company are called as residual claimants as they are the last to receive earnings of the company after payment of all expenses taxes dividend to preference shareholders etc are given However, they enjoy the benefit of receiving the entire earnings which is left over and sometimes this entire earnings, the leftover earnings could be really very higher. So as they are the last one to receive the earnings of the company, they are called as residual claimant. The next feature is no charge on assets. Let us first understand the meaning of charge on assets. The term charge on asset means an interest or a right which the creditors obtain in the property of the company by way of security that the company will pay back the debt. Which means that if the company fails to pay the debt, then the creditors can claim it from the company's asset. However, equity shareholders being the real owners of the company do not enjoy any such right of creation of charge over assets of the company, which means that their capital amount is lost and they cannot claim from the assets of the company. The next and the ninth feature is bonus issue. What do we mean by bonus issue? Bonus issue is also called as bonus shares. It refers to those shares which are given free of cost to the existing equity shareholders. This shares are given out of the accumulated profits of the company and they are always issued in proportion to the shares which are held by the shareholders. For example, the company may decide to issue bonus shares in the ratio of 2 is to 1 which means that an existing equity shareholder who holds two shares will be given one share free of cost. This benefit of bonus issue is enjoyed only by the existing equity shareholders. Let us now move towards the 10th feature of equity shares which is rights issue. Whenever a company goes for expansion or growth activities at that time, it requires further capital. It has to raise further capital for carrying on its expansion activities. For this purpose, it issues shares in the market. However, when these shares are firstly offered to the existing equity shareholders in proportion to their existing shareholdings then it is called as a right issue so in this way the equity shareholders enjoy the priority to get the newly offered shares before the shares are actually offered to the general public equity shareholders thus enjoy the priority to get the newly offered shares before they are offered to the general public this benefit is available only to the equity shareholders and not to the preference shareholders. The next feature of equity share is face value. As discussed earlier, face value is that value which is written on the face of the share certificate as well as it appears on the memorandum of association. The face value of equity shares is very low. It could be rupees 10 per share or it could be even rupees 1 per share. 
Let us now move towards the 12th feature of equity share which is market value. Firstly, let us understand the meaning of the term market value. Market value is that value which is determined by demand and supply of shares in the market. This market value keeps on fluctuating. Why and how? Because it depends upon the performance of the company that is profits earned or losses incurred by the company, dividend declared, etc. Whenever the company's profits increases, it results into an increase in the market value of shares. But when the company incurs losses, at that time the market value of shares decreases. So it could be clearly understood that the market value depends upon the profits earned and the losses incurred by the company. Let us now move towards the last feature of equity shares which is capital appreciation. What do you mean by capital appreciation? The term capital appreciation means an increase in the market value of shares in the share market. This happens basically because of increase in the profits and the prosperity of the company. Further, this results in an increase in the reputation of the company. Let us now understand as to how does this take place. When the profits of the company starts increasing, it brings prosperity, thereby increasing the reputation or goodwill of the company. This in turn results into an increase or appreciation in the market value of shares. So with this dear students, we have completed the 13 features of equity shares. Thank you dear children for your patience listening.